Hey there, Scipio here, and I'm starting work on the Taro 680 Pro Hexacopter. And the first thing I want to do is what I'm going to call PCB prep. So there's an integrated printed circuit board as part of the frame assembly design. And so that allows us to solder our electrical connections directly to the board instead of having a separate wiring harness. It's definitely easier to do the solder prep on this before we start installing components. So while my soldering iron is warming up, I'm just using a eraser from a pencil. Ideally, a pink eraser is the best kind. And what this does is removes any oxidation that has collected on these connection points over time. Mine are pretty clean though. Then what I want to do is take some isopropyl alcohol. The higher the percentage, the better. In this case, I'm using 99%. That and a Q-tip, and I will um, continue to clean off all of these pads. Once that dries, the next thing I want to do is put some flux on each of the pads. I'm using a rosin flux pen, and uh, you can get them online or most electronics places for, you know, five or six bucks. So now that our board is prepped with flux, I'm just going to go around and add solder to each of these pads. So this will make it easier when I'm actually ready to install the electronics. The solder will already be on the pad. All I'll need to do is tend the wires and then uh, add them into the mix. So get a nice big dome of solder uh, on each of the pads and you should be good to go there. There's a positive and a negative connection for each of the ESCs. And then on one end of the frame you can see here there's a positive and a negative for the battery terminals. So the interesting thing is the design of this particular frame is such that the battery would go into the back to counterweight the camera gimbal that would go into the front. However, uh, as someone was very nice enough to point out to me uh, in their current build, uh, thank you Stuart by the way, uh, that the holes that are required to mount the canopy are actually in such a position that the only way to properly mount the canopy is with the battery terminals in the front. And of course that's contrary to what you would think given the design. So there are several options to deal with this. One of them is just route the wires to the other side, but I'll probably talk more about that later in the build. So anyway, once you get done with your soldering, you should have uh, a bunch of these little solder pillows that you will later add your wires to. So again, this is much easier to do before you start mounting hardware, which is why we're doing it now. So finally, the last thing I like to do is go back to the alcohol and Q-tip and clean up all the excess flux after I'm done adding solder to the pads. And then after that, we're pretty much done to start mounting some hardware. So that'll be coming up in future videos, just taking it a little bit at a time. Uh, but this is uh, quite simply, short and sweet, how to get the solder pads prepped up for your electronics in the Taro 680 Pro Hexacopter. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you like this. Uh, comments are always welcome. And uh, you can uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. And uh, there's also my webpage, everythingcpo.com, where you can go see the totality of this build in one location. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.